okay today we shall be developing uh, correlation coefficient uh, that means uh, we shall be developing correlation uh, sorry I'm sorry so we we shall be developing dev correlation coefficient that is our plan and here uh, today uh, we shall be developing Pearson correlation coefficient Pearson co coefficient Pearson correlation coefficient uh, we shall develop today okay and here you can see we have the variables all the variables are here so here is the data view here is variable view here is data view here is variable view and now uh, I shall be I shall be putting data I shall be putting data here one by one so the first variable the name of the first variable suppose export and the second variable name is import and the third variable name is consumption so here we have three variable export import and consumption and uh, now now uh, 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 I shall be uh, inserting data I shall be putting data so uh, I go to data view here to uh, put data I click here so the data is here so I can put data from export I'm putting 14 23 21 22 34 20 then 25 so uh, so so this one is the export then the second variable is import so I also insert data one by one 45 34 55 25 66 25 45 so and the third variable is consumption I also insert data Six thirty four sixty five thirty four forty five thirty five. So here are the three variable, and uh, I want to check. I want to check the the correlation among this this uh, among this three variables so and, 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 uh, so the correlation coefficient among these three variables and you can see our variable view you can see variable view here you can see data view variable view and data view deming the variable view and data view they are coming uh, here okay and uh, so uh, uh, okay so uh, so but but today uh, today we we shall be checking the Pearson correlation coefficient 
right Pearson correlation coefficient and here the Pearson correlation coefficient can be max uh, can be between two range plus one to minus one so they are between these two range either plus one or until minus one that means the range between the two is plus one to minus one so uh, so and also we assume that we assume that the variables are continuous continuous variables right we assume that variables are continuous that means export import and consumption these variables are continuous in nature so that is the first thing and we also assume that that our three variables are normally distributed that is our second assumption right that means export import and consumption they are normally distributed that we assume okay so first we assume that these three variables are continuous in nature and the second assumption is that that uh, these three variables are normally distributed so now uh, now it is set now we can estimate the correlation coefficient right and that that we, uh, we shall do now